Look where you're going. Come on, people. <laughs> What's going on everyone? Uh, today, actually for the next two weeks, I'm in Greece on the island of Skiathos. Uh, I'm here with my family uh, doing a little uh, vacationing and we rented a 2013 Fiat Panda in nice titanium gray. Uh, so my wife and daughter are sleeping now. I figure I might as well go for a quick drive and give you my impressions of this amazing, amazing uh, vehicle. I actually had a couple of vehicles to uh, choose from, including the, uh, the very popular and famous uh, Volkswagen uh, Up, with an exclamation point, uh, but I decided to go with the Panda because I was feeling nostalgic. Nostalgic because I thought that this car was still being made in Poland, but it's not. Uh, I found only the second generation, uh, or up to the second generation, uh, was made in Poland. This is the third generation uh, Panda that is now made in Italy. Is it good? Is it bad? Uh, I'm not sure, but a little bit about the car. Uh, so it's a 2013 that I got from Hertz. Uh, it has 41,000 kilometers on it, but I don't know if you can see these views, but I'm surrounded by serenity. Uh, anyways, uh, so this particular car has a 1.2 liter four-cylinder engine that produces a whopping 68 horsepower. And uh, it's so weak that we're staying on a hill. I was forced to stop on a hill with my wife, my daughter, and some luggage. I could not move forward. Only when I slipped the clutch really, really bad to the point that it was smelling. So it's a very weak engine, uh, but it's a, it's a city car. It's not meant for, uh, for mountain driving. It's meant for city driving. So how is it to drive? Well, actually, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Even though the car has no power, uh, it is uh, the, the short wheelbase and, and the fact that it's kind of cute, kind of make up for it. Go ahead, lady, go, go, go. Yeah. Let's test the acceleration. Zero to 60, apparently, in 13.7 seconds. I am pretty sure this car has never hit 60 or 100 miles an hour because on this island there's really no place to do it uh, when you have these straights you're in the middle of a little town and you're surrounded by tourists so obviously you cannot really uh, really do that going back to how fun the car is the car is underpowered but it's fun because of the short wheelbase because of the kind of the, the looks and because of this five-speed manual transmission I've got to say this car is so much fun to drive because of this manual transmission not only is it kind of super nice and notchy and it shifts very well but it's so close to you you feel like you're in a race car you just you're in second gear third gear bam it's super close to you it's right here it kind of reminds me of a civic si the i don't know which generation civic si it was but there is uh there was this civic si that had that had this shifter here and it just was awesome by the way look at this view this is the uh i think we're overlooking the city of the no i don't know what beach that is but oh just take that in you know what why don't we take it in oh All right, so yeah, going back to the shifter. The shifter is awesome. Uh, the steering wheel is also cool. What I like about it is, you see these palm rests? This is basically it. You rest your palms on the steering wheel and it's not leather covered or anything, but it's just, it's a nice, it's a nice wheel to grab. Uh, the, the steering ratio is very, what's the, what is a very long, wide, I guess it takes you a long time to turn the to turn the wheel. Look, this is a small turn. Look how much I'm turning the wheel. Ah, oh, go, buddy, go, 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 go. Jesus, what are these people doing? Do they not want to live? Take your time. Uh, inside, it's pretty basic. 
you've got your uh, your dash on the left hand side you've got your speedo you have a little trip computer in the middle that gives you your range in kilometers uh, your headlight adjusters you can actually adjust your headlights up and down on the right hand side you have your rpms and it's just uh, it's nice it's a simple layout this car is equipped with yes it's got two airbags one for the driver one for the passenger it's got these awesome pockets here that you can that actually come in very very handy when you're on vacation because you can put all your camera equipment in here and and all of that so it's a, so it's great kind of in the middle here it's a, i want to say it's a retro design and i can say that it's a retro design because i learned how to drive on a Fiat 126P when I was seven years old. I'm not lying. Uh, that and a tractor. Uh, but this kind of reminds me of that layout. That's why I called it a retro layout. You've got these, uh, you've got these uh, climate control uh, adjusters here. And you've got your basic controllers where you want to direct your AC uh, and whatnot. In the center console, you also have the, uh, the window controllers. So you can move your windows up and down now that's only for the front the back is uh i think it's manually wound if i'm not mistaken but no one's going to be using it because my daughter is sitting in the back uh so she's not adjusting uh the way the the windows uh in terms of the car being roomy well for uh, if you're vacationing and it's just you and your partner your wife your husband uh, whoever uh it's fine if you have some luggage. If you're traveling with a child and are somewhat uh, dependent on bringing uh, clothes and toys for the child uh, and a stroller and a baby seat, uh, this car might not be uh, enough. We actually brought just that. We brought two suitcases, a stroller, a baby seat, and obviously us two and the little baby and the car was a bit too small it was actually uh, we really loaded up the car to the point where the stroller was in the back along with my wife and my daughter in the front seat we put uh, some of the luggage the big luggage when uh, went in the trunk uh, so it wasn't uh, big enough so if you're planning on renting this car in uh, on your vacation just think about how much you cannot fit in it uh oh, is that police? Please don't tell me that's police. Don't tell me that's police. I don't want to get pulled over. So the reason why I said I don't want to get pulled over is because I am driving without international driver's license. Yes, I do not have an international driver's license. Uh, when I rented this car, I, uh, I did not know that I needed an international driver's license. So I had to kind of bribe the people at the front desk to, uh, uh, to loan me the car. And they did. But they told me, do not drive fast. Do not get into an accident and do not get pulled over because you'll get in trouble. So that was a police checkpoint that we just passed and uh, we're just lucky we did not get pulled over. Look at these crazy drivers. One thing to note about this island, this island is filled with crazy drivers, uh, including this guy. Look at these turns. It is impossible to heel and toe in this car. All right, so that was it. Uh, that was my quick overview of this 2013 Fiat Panda. I really wanted to kind of just touch base and say hi, uh, tell you about this fun little car that I'm driving on the island. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. I'm coming up to my turn and we are safely back at home if we can get through these narrow streets. All right, people of the world, I've been driving this car for um, close to a week now, and I'm really used to it now. I've put on uh, a lot of kilometers on it, and uh, it's becoming a lot of fun. But what I've also learned is that you can uh, clutchless shift 
quite easily in here. So check it out. I'm going in first gear. First gear, the streets are empty. All you have to do is just, my foot, my left foot is nowhere near the clutch. You're gonna accelerate, release the pressure, you're in neutral, bam, you're in second gear. Now, you wanna go into, go into third gear, accelerate, release the pressure, bam, you're in third gear. How easy is that? Accelerate, release the pressure, you're in fourth. Super easy. I'm going too fast, all right. So this is one thing we learned about the car, that clutchless shifting is, uh, is super easy. Another thing, let's see what happens when we dump the clutch. That was it. We're gonna try it one more time. This time let's wait where there's no cars. Rev up. We got it all the way up to 90 in second gear. This car rocks. Bye bye video. Bye bye video. Oh. See you next time. See you next time. Louder. See you next time. See you next time. <laughs> See you next time. See you next time. All right. <laughs>